The check menu in the main toolbar can be used to open the Material Explorer and check the simulation and memory requirements. Click Material Explorer. Under the Material drop-down list, I can see the materials that are being used in this simulation. The simulation bandwidth is automatically set to the bandwidth of the source. To plot the refractive index, select Index under the Vertical Axis drop-down menu. Under the Horizontal Axis, you can choose to plot over wavelength or frequency. Click Fit and Plot to plot the material data and the fit curve. I can do the same to plot the data for the other materials. For sample data materials, it's important to make sure that the data is available over the full source bandwidth to make sure that the fit is based on material data. The fit should be checked each time you change the materials that are being used or the source bandwidth. Next, click on the Check Simulation and Memory Requirements option in the Check menu to open the Simulation and Memory Report. Here you can see the estimated amount of RAM required for the initialization to mesh, running, and data collection stages of the simulation. The monitored data saved to FSB file shows the estimated size of the file that's saved after the simulation has been run. You can use this report to check the amount of memory required is available on your system before you start running the simulation. The amount of memory required for a simulation depends on the number of mesh cells simulated and the amount of monitor data that needs to be recorded. Click the Run button to run the simulation. After clicking Run, the Job Manager window will pop up. From the Job Manager, you can right-click to pause the simulation, see the time estimate for running the simulation, and stop the simulation using the Quit buttons. If I open the Windows Task Manager, I can see that all of the cores of the CPU are being fully utilized. Once the simulation has completed running, monitors will contain data for analysis.